TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen just in case. Probably won't need it, but it's there. Patreon.com. We watch UK movies, series, and Premier League. Tune in. Links in the description. And we also got Twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live stream. Links on the bottom of the... It's in the description as well, man. This is Wendell threatened by feral youths in Leeds. <laughs> Leeds, I like Leeds. Leeds is one of the places I might that I've considered moving to if I ever move to the UK. So, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I'm on the wrong side. Nice. Oh, are you guys in for a treat today? I've taken you to many places around Britain trying to show you what things are like these days, but I've never taken you somewhere as exotic as Leeds Bus Station. Now, I'll be the first person to acknowledge that I haven't made enough videos up north. That all changes today because I've managed to enlist the help of a local who also happens to be a YouTuber. This is Dan from the YouTube channel. Hey, Where hey. is Dan? Normally he's making videos from more far away places than his hometown Leeds, but he's back at the moment. And How you doing, Dan? My name is The Lit One. I'm a frequently, I frequently react to the material on Windows channel. I like Window, me and Window, we locked in, man. We conversate for here and there on Instagram. Uh, hopefully when I come out there, Window can take me somewhere and we can do one of these together and I can just walk around with him. Because I plan to do one of these type videos as well and he can show me the ropes. <laughs> and he's kindly agreed to show me around. What can we expect from Leeds these days, mate? Hopefully you'll like it today. The weather's not too good. It's pissing it down, which is typical here in Leeds. But the people are really friendly, so we'll interact with some people. We'll go down to the market here behind the bus station, Kirkgate Market. Um, we'll also head over to Hare Hills where the riots were a few weeks ago. We'll go to Crossgates where the local people live. Interesting. To Hare Hills where the riots were a few weeks ago. We'll go to Crossgates where the local people live. We'll go to a little shopping centre there. We'll go to a bakery. Just like meet the people. Yeah. Because it's very multicultural as Leeds. So we'll be in for a good day. Just remember to say hey up to everybody. Hey up. That's why you say hello. Hey up. Hey up. I couldn't have a better guy to show me around. Let's explore Leeds. Let's go. I just want to say a quick big thanks to HelloFresh for... Hey, salute. Another sponsorship for Window. Paying the bills. Desserts when you use the link in the description and pin comments. Oh, no. I want to see the real leads. Can we get no. No. no, no. Oh, sometimes no. I don't get paid. But no, oh, well, I don't no, get paid. Being, I'll tell you, we, we are in leads, but you, yeah. you don't get paid till we so get paid for that. Well, well, not everyone gets paid for everything. Hello, so, sometimes yeah, you just help out it. kind strangers. Yeah, 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 well, you haven't helped me yet. What do you want? We will. What do you want? I just, I'm just asking friendly people in the street where one would check out in Leeds on a visit. Right. When right. people come to my Probably town. Probably only if you're going to fucking prison stuff. <laughs> well, I just want to see what your your, your city's shocking. all about. If, 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 city, if somebody yeah. came to me, yeah. I would give them friendly, free advice it, it, about where to that, go. Okay, but there's a lot of homeless in Leeds. Yeah, here, you know, the riot that was on the news yeah. all over. That, that took the bus ride away. You can't support two bus, and it mainly will mainly. So that'll show a different side. Yeah, yeah, absolute different side. Yeah. Oh, it's absolute. 15 over here. Get everything video. Yeah. I'm making a video. Why, why are you? Why are you sticking your fingers up? You've all gone shy now. I've got my camera. Why are you putting your fingers up at the uh, people sitting there? Well, he was, you weren't. He's gone. I'm documenting the reality of life in Leeds, mate. Why are you telling me to fuck off? <laughs> mate, is that a threat? Yeah? Well, if, why are you walking away if it's a threat? I'm allowed to walk wherever I want with a camera, mate. Why are you walking away behind, hiding behind your hood? I thought, I thought you'd got this threat that was hanging. Hey, Wendell's standing on business out here. 
<laughs> you know they capping. A lot of people genuinely be all talk. All being all talk on camera for a hundred thousand plus people to see though, I returning to school has to be tough. Whoever you're bullying in school, they should stand up to you at this point. Because we all know now. <laughs> you're not like that. Thinking over me. Please film, yeah. See, you're free to film in a public place. I was told the people of Leeds were friendly people. Bro, come out corner then. Why do I have to go around the corner? I'm right here. Why are you so aggressive with people that come and visit your city? I'm just making a video. You're shoving your finger up at people. Thanks for the warm welcome to Leeds. I got rid of those. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh uh, yeah. Hey Wendell, salute. <laughs> That's how I like to see videos starting off. Let's get negative. Let's get negative. Horrible youths. They they were yeah, he was giving me a lot of grief just yeah. for talking to you. Yeah. I didn't like the way he was sticking his finger up at you. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, well, we we're normally in Leeds. I didn't know that you were homeless, yeah. but yeah, we are, I don't well, think anybody deserves to have no. young people sticking their finger yeah, up. We can't judging you, know, just because you, you, know, you might be having a can and you might no. be whatever, but yeah. well, you deserve what respect. Else can we have? We're living in the streets. Yeah, man. We've got to get by, mate. Yeah. You can't just get by um, and not be nothing. Yeah, but please, did you want to see really? Yeah, let's like, go. That is great energy. Back to point. Right, you need to go to Hells. Okay. Whatever happened, right? There's a lot of Romania's up there. Worth checking and, out. Uh, yeah, definitely worth So does that out. show like a side of Leeds that I won't see in the city centre? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. That's how real people live. Well, it's like, that. even if you go around the city centre, you'll just see everyone's You'll homeless. just see everyone okay. homeless. Yeah. Okay. Well, I talk to everyone. I talk to yeah, everyone I from millionaires to homeless, um, everything in between. Yeah. Because I think everybody's got a story and we they do, deserve respect. We do, we do. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't have young people, yeah. just because yeah. you're here, yeah. sticking the middle finger up at you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. And we really appreciate that. Thank well. you. And because the kids, you can't touch them like you said. Yeah. But every w Window. W Window. Can't touch them. That's fine. But self defense is self defense. You would have swung. I would have. Oh, man. <laughs> you would have been long. Yay, I would have had to teach you a very adult like lesson. Every day, these people have to put up with it. This is no reason I would have slept this morning and I would only in that fucking doorway over there, gentlemen. And someone kicked me in back. While you were asleep, I kicked you in the back. While I was asleep. Not so hard. I just, I just hate how people can't respect other human beings. I would have chased him down fucking street. Look, they spun around. These kids think they be. And if I start running, me, you don't want that. You're a fast runner. I'm from Leeds, and I'll fucking run all day if I have to. Good luck. Yeah. But um, yeah. What I will say is, is if yeah, one looking. of them has me chasing them, God help them. Yes. Yeah, mate. Really nice and I, uh, I don't mean that. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to be Fucking safe. God help him, because be you don't do that to someone. That's just disrespectful, when mate. When asleep. Oh, no. And it's so, it's so easy to kick someone when they're asleep as well. It's cowardly. It's, it's, bad. it's easy to kick somebody when they're down, too, man. You don't never go up to nobody who you really got smoke with, man. You're messing with somebody who's really innocent. Who's really innocent in, in, as far as doing something to you. Oh, but it's on calendar, but it's fucking paedophilia well, is that, as far as I'm concerned. And I mean battered. It is. Did you? Whilst I was asleep, yeah. Yeah, sorry, love. We don't like bullies, man. Bullies are like... Bullies need love, real, really. They're just lacking that home environment. <laughs> They're lacking the proper love. They've never been loved. They've gone through some stuff. But I get it, man. They're, they're projecting. But come on now. I mean, you don't that talk, is, to like, no. talk to your school counselor. Broken, broken a lot whilst I was asleep. Sorry, love. The reason I interjected with those youths is because I won't have cocky, thinking they're hard youths, yeah. being disrespectful, flipping the middle finger, swearing, threatening homeless people just because by de facto of the fact that they're scruffy and homeless yeah, yeah. you know it's just like disrespectful. it's just disrespectful and then the moment somebody that's not drunk and bigger than them mm -hmm. challenges them and says that it's bad behavior you know they're full of lip he wouldn't turn around it's just it's a problem with kids these days yeah. they haven't got enough respect not all kids but 
I won't have it. You know what you can't beat when you go around a British market anywhere? You can't beat a good wolf hoodie. Have you got one? I had one when I was younger, yeah. yeah. They had a massive wolf on the front. They have to be glowing. So that's like a British thing? A wolf hoodie? I ain't never had no wolf hoodie. In the dark yeah. as well. <laughs> you can't bet hello, mate. Hello, yeah, what's business like? How, how are you trading? Well, what can I say? We are struggling. Are you really? Yeah, yeah we are struggling actually, but uh, I've been here a long time. I've got regular paper by me myself, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I've been here nearly 40 years. At, at this market, this very spot, or you sometimes years. move? Well, I was, I was further down for 20 odd years. Yeah. In the middle there. And I've been up here for 20 years now. Oh, mate, yeah. And you've noticed things, have they slowly gone oh, downhill? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So, how do you survive now things are going downhill? Hand to mouth, that's all we can do. Really, yeah. It reminds me of Only Fools and Horses. Yes, I have seen it. The whole series is up on Patreon if you want to partake in the reactions. Um, like this little market type situation. But uh, there's nothing else I know. You know what you should do? Um, yeah. You should start a TikTok channel and get one of your friends to make a video of you trying on the clothes. Right. And say, come down to Leeds Market and buy my clothes and people will see it. It could go viral. They'll come down. Very much so. That is true, man. A lot of the older generation does not believe in that type of stuff. Or don't have the, they don't think they don't have the time to do it. But it could really benefit like situations like this. Trying to buy some stuff. It's the ultimate like publicity for your whatever you're trying to sell. From you, that's what I would do if I was you. The sir. things you have to do to when you just want to sell clothes, the things you have to do now with the buddy internet and everything to make money. I agree with you 100%, but I'm not that tall man with the technology. Yeah. See. Get one of these ones here. I'm sure you can find one of your mates to help you out. Get your kids to do it or something, yeah. Too late for me now. It's it's never too late. late. Not, that's that's what a young man's. That's a sucky attitude. Never too late. Never too late to change your uh, trajectory. Says, yeah, I, I understand. He's been doing it all his life, yeah. He's been retiring a year or two so. So would you, obviously, like, you know, market stalls get handed down through the generations, don't they, to the family, and no, no, you're not going to do that anymore? No, no. Not worth it. They, they, they won't take it. The young ones, they won't take it. No. My, my own family. My own son, my daughter, they won't, don't want to know. Not interested in the no, industry. No, no. There's a lot of work in the lab they want to do. Yeah. Which I don't blame them at all. Yeah. Yeah, take it like this. You've inspired them to do something different with all the hard work and dedication and loyalty you show to your craft. <laughs> they are inspired not to have to do that much work which is fair you did i told the many after this is the last thing you want to do the last thing in your life going to market really that hard so that yeah. yeah it's hard job it's hard job what time do you normally get here in the morning i myself i'm here about seven o'clock seven till four o'clock we start packing up and unloading every yeah. day keep walking around making sure nothing gets mixed yeah yeah do you have a lot of that do you have like thievery in the market quite, do you quite a bit do you really my size 78 90 78 i started like this was the most popular market in the north yep. yeah didn't marks yeah. and spencers start in these market yeah, Bang on. yeah. Bang really yeah. marks and spencers started in leeds market in here leeds market, penny, what they well, penny 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 store yeah is that mns marks and spencers is that mns like somebody sent my daughter some clothes and they said mns is that marks and spencers with a stocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady stocking. Oh, welcome around here. People are quite friendly, aren't they? Yeah, man. I can tell already. I know you said we're yeah. a friendly bunch in general when I text you. Um, but yeah, people. What, what amazing bric a brac. Yeah, man. I think I had this back in the day. I don't think it's a complaint. I think there is. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, bro. Selling loose silverware is crazy. You can go buy one fork and one spoon. I get it. That's that's a hustler. You got to hustle, but golly. Yeah, there's quite a few missing. Yeah, you probably it'd be a mission to get hold of them now, wouldn't it? But it'd be a lifetime's mission. Keep you out of trouble, wouldn't it? Keep you out of the pub. <laughs> Nothing would keep me out of the pub, mate. Nothing. How long have you been passionate about coins? And oh, a long time. All your life, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's fascinating, my friend. Banknotes as well. Have you yeah. seen my banknotes? Please. Oh, bank I'm probably more interested in banknotes. Oh, yeah. I, I find, oh wow. So Venezuela. This a Mesla. They're all uncirculated, 95%. They've never been in circulation. So Kyrgyzstan. those are Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, one of oh, those. That's, cool that's amazing. Yeah, one of those Russian things. Yeah. 
Oh, can, can you believe that people used to go down the, the, uh, you know, the old market? I'm still amazed at the UK's money. Period. How much smaller it is? How how it's not paper? How it can't like rip? Like it's crazy. In the Soviet times yeah. and, and trade with those, yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing, yeah. What's Leeds like these days? Twenty twenty four. I've just arrived. Leeds is, I think it's quite good. It's getting bigger. It's getting m m m a lot more people, a lot more busy. But depending where you go, places to go, places not to go. Like everywhere, yeah. Uh, like everywhere. Um, I'd probably say the the work, North Leeds, where we're from, yeah. probably a nicer area. But if you go to like um, Hare Hills. Any, anywhere south Leeds, East Leeds that way, Eastern Park, Gipton, Beast and all them. They're probably they're probably the they're probably the the deported deprived areas. Yeah. I think it's nicer than Manchester because it's smaller, yeah. nicer people. I love an indoor market, mate. We still like Manchester. I remember we used to have one of these little indoor type markets on Clark and like near Clark and Howard, they shut that down. I remember going one day and it was gone and i was like dang what happened to clark street mall i think that was what it was called but it was like market style like little stalls and it was too much debauchery going on in there it was too ghetto too much people getting chased through that mud this is what's great about what's left of retail in britain yeah normally what happens is when i film in these places as well some management person will appear from nowhere really? and stop me filming yeah and then i'll have a conversation where i'm like oh this is my channel i'm gonna do good things for your market and then they'll get the word from above and then i'm allowed to go film again that's what happens every time but they should allow you to do it because it's free promotion for the market that's what i say People that's what i say because there's no promotion for these markets probably I, like i don't see no billboards and nothing probably tourists don't even know it's there i'm gonna go visit that market yeah it it's happened in luton literally last week or I'd like to find like a samosa or something. Or like um, a Jamaican patty. Ooh, yeah. The good boy burger car, see the fat man in me, the uncultured fat man is gravitating towards that place over there. You get like a jerk, jerk chicken burger. Oh yeah, hell yeah, that's what yeah. I'm gonna get. I'll treat you mate for showing me around Leeds. Let's do rock, paper, scissors, loser pains. Sure, all right. Mm -mm. You treat me, hey, I'm gonna let you do it. I ain't, ain't no rock, paper, scissors, you said it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just I just offered to pay, and you're everything. you're bargaining out of it. Yeah, we'll make it you ready? Game. One two show. What? One two show. What's that mean? One two show. Okay, yeah, I just ready? got one two three show. One two show. One two show. Make yeah. it quicker. Ready? Yeah. One two show. I lose. What do you want? <laughs> I, I, I turn that a transaction around quickly. I think we got the best shop for Jamaican food in it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How long to stay? When do, every time you pop out, you eating a Jamaican some, some Jamaican food. I don't blame you though. It's fresh. It's not too heavy. Certain things are not too heavy. We've all been here. We have been here for seven years now. Seven years. Yeah. yeah so something must be working. Yeah. yeah. Normally I have oxtail, but it's a bit too early in the day because it's so rich and you know quite filling. Mm. So I think I'll have a jerk chicken wrap. That's okay. Yeah. yeah, and done. Jerk chicken burger, please, mate. Chicken burger, what do you like on the side? Uh, what's it done with? Come with sweet potatoes or plantain? Plantain, please. Yeah, plantain. We'll plantain. Plantain. Yeah. Do I get a side with mine, or? No. Can I have one? Yeah, yeah. you can have a yeah. side, yeah. Yeah, um, I'll have some um, sweet potato as well, sweet please. Potato. Yeah. And a couple of drinks as well, mate. Um, what do you want? A ginger beer? Yeah. And a mighty malt. Never had Jamaican food. Never had Jamaican Never. food. Really? It is shocking how many people in the UK have not had Jamaican food. I feel like it's a lot of Jamaicans there. Like I feel like everybody has. Well, you're gonna be in for something. I mean, you're having a jerk chicken sandwich. I would. It's a pretty. It's not too crazy. It's a cool place to start if you if you like. If flavor shock you, you know what I'm saying? Window drop dive straight into the deep end. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When he had his first little thing, he had the main two things, oxtail and patties. So. Well, you, you are going for the uh, white man's choice. For oh, first. It? There it is. I, I, I didn't say it. Window said it. <laughs> I, I was trying to say it, but since Window said it, I'll agree. Jamaican oh, food, damn. which is the jerk chicken. Yeah, yeah. What a place, mate! You can't beat this, mate. Look no. at this. What a vibe! Everyone's chilled, relaxing. Completely multicultural. 
Welcome to Leeds. Hello. Thanks for inviting me down. Thank you. Oh my god. No, the rap look crazy. If this was America, bro, cut the meat into a third. You're getting a third of that meat in America. You're not getting that much meat. I don't know how he's gonna rap that. He must be a skilled rapper. Yes, sir. Yeah, no cap, he might get a lot of business this place after this. You come how much was this? How much was this? When he said a rap, I was like, mmm. But now that I see it, you have to be a very skilled wow. God, jeez. Most Jamaican restaurants be stingy in America, I ain't gonna lie. Because there wasn't enough chicken, so we put some more in. That is so full. I can't believe you're gonna be able to wrap. Lord. <laughs> All that chicken in there. Yeah, put in there hot sauce. Do it, yeah, I love hot sauce. <laughs> This is what I want to see. Okay. This is the money shot. Mm. Pressure's on, man. That ain't no rap. That's a jerk chicken taco. <laughs> Open face burrito, boy. You ain't really rap that. Right, so this is one of those where like you have to eat it out the foil, or you'll just <laughs> it'll just shit the tin everywhere. How many chickens do you get through a day? How many chicken? Yeah. It's a kilos. Sometimes 40, 14 kilos, sometimes 45 to 15. 40 to 50 kilos of chicken a day? Yeah. That's a lot of cock. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's, that that look good. Even his sandwich look good, but that look good. That wrap look on point. This video is spicy. You're planning to want interesting and healthy. It takes a backup to suit. You not give months, but you can. Eating all the Hello Fresh. I see why you at this stall, window. <laughs> you gotta get back right. Cheers for that, Dan. Bloody hell, lad. Look at the Nice to meet at last. Yeah. Fantastic. So, how much did all this come to? 18 pounds. 18 quid. 18 dollars for all of this. Do you know if I went to a Jamaican restaurant in, let's just say Miami, this would have been 40 dollars. Smooth 40. Easily. Easily, the size would have been five. The main, the burger would have been ten. The wrap would have been twelve. What's that? Twenty-two, thirty-two. The drinks four each, forty dollars. And like normally, you get Chicago would have been like thirty. Half that for well, especially look how many plantains he got. The sad, where I'm normally not around. I know old Jamaica ginger beer. America be cheating me, man. Dang. I don't even eat like this no more, but still. Well, I just fancied it. What's the, uh, <laughs> I knew it would be weird. It wasn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? It tastes like coffee and beer mixed together. Plantain. Oh, they're like little prawns. Mm. I mean, I know they're not prawns, for everyone's gonna slight me in the comments. Ooh, they just spicy. look like prawns. Okay. Oh, they're good. It's spicy. Right. It's time for me to try and eat this jerk chicken wrap. Talk to me. Let me see what this was about. Without it shitting the tin and exploding from the foil. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to like wrap as I go. This for You do much food vlogging on your channel. Not really. Yeah, I didn't used to, but it seems to be becoming more of a thing. Mm. This is packed with chicken now, mate. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to have a nibble off the end. You've got a lot of chicken in there. Good. That chicken's amazing. Mm. So tender, so vibrant, got flavor. And that was my question, was it tender? Mike Malt, never got that, No, not interested. Ginger beer, cool, but I'm not getting that unless I mix it with some liquor. <laughs> I'm getting a pineapple drink. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I talk and say the pineapple drink. Give a full, soft. Yep, yeah, stole your word. Yeah. But only I knew I'd have a problem with so much being in. Wendell, if you watch this, next time you go to any Jamaica spot, ask for a beef patty and cocoa cocoa bread. Put the cocoa put the beef patty inside the cocoa bread. Make sure that cocoa cocoa bread fresh though. They be doing that a lot in Florida. Should be it be decent. How it was wrapped. <laughs> Cause it's just kinda like closed in the fall. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna get messy. Be prepared. Might eat a bit of foil. 
that jerk chicken is so flavorful. Whenever I eat Jamaican food, I'm just, I just swear that I'll never eat British food ever again because it's so bland and boring. But like, what is British food anymore? You know, full English breakfast. That's I about it. Spoons. Fish and chips, full English, roast dinner. I think that's it. Curries. Well, yeah. But like, so so much of the culture that's come to Britain has now overtaken our food scene mm. because it's so much better. a tough realization but I like some of the British classics man look how messy it is it's just falling apart I still be doing it all the best things to do in case I fucked up which I might have I might not have been recording my entire degustation of this fantastic Jamaican food it was absolutely amazing I'm gonna give it about 9 out of 10 the flavor was amazing a little bit messy very the jerk messy. chicken Phenomenal, yeah, spicy, I've got to really know. I'm gonna go back and tell him how good it was. My Jerk chicken's always gonna be good. I mean, it, it can be messed up. I've had some places where they dry it out and then they'd be like, oh no, jerk chicken's supposed to be. No, it's not, buddy. Cut it out. Mm. Hey, that's the best jer jerk chicken I've had in years. It's phenomenal, mate. Thank you. I'll get people to come and visit you. Thank you. Appreciate it, mate, good job. Jenny's Jerk Lauren, Chicken Shack. Here, in the food bit of the indoor market, in Leeds. So why should people visit Leeds? Uh, if you want to get night stabbed, out. or if you want to get a nice night out. Yeah. Where do you guys go on the night out? That's a fact. Leeds nightlife is top tier. Very, very top tier. Okay, well that's a mixed bag. Uh, well, so you can either have a nice night out or get stabbed. Yeah, that's And that's right. Leeds yeah. in 2024. Yeah. I've kind of seen both sides, really friendly people and then really aggressive people that's, as well. That's so. it, it's both. Really? Yeah, he's, yeah there's no in-between. <laughs> Where do you go? I can see that. I can see that. Even the homeless people, like, not saying that they were really friendly once he get, they got past the... Once he defended them and seen that they seen that he wasn't just there to, like, exploit them or whatever, they were like, oh, okay. Wonderful! So where are we now, Dan? On Brigitte, the main street in the centre of Leeds. This is where it all goes down? Yeah. How many weather spoons does Leeds have? Um, it says a lot about a city. I'm not sure, do you know? I've got no idea. I don't know, but my favourite one, if you're ever in Leeds, is called the Three Hullets. Three Hullets? Yeah. What's a hullet? I don't uh, An owl. Okay. I oh. think. I thought it was like a, like a mullet. So the three mullets. The three mullets, yes. North Face, everyone loves that these days. Starbucks, Standard. I haven't seen a North Face store in years. Louis Vuitton. There was a band called Sixth. Were you a bit of a rock and metal? Do you remember Sixth? They were, uh, I'm gonna lose my viewers now. Retentional drop. They were, um, they were pioneers of uh, um, style in heavy metal called Gent. Gent. It was like, really like, so almost. This is Leeds City Center, huh? like out of tune but it really worked it was really heavy Decent. anyway they wrote they wrote a song called bland street balloon okay. which was their biggest hit and i just thought that idea really summed up modern britain mm. and it's a focus of so many people's videos these days on youtube yeah. like every high street in britain just seems the same mm -hmm. there's been a bloom yeah, of yeah. a bland high street yeah. at least this one's not bogus it's, it's, i mean it ain't that great right now maybe because the eyes the rain is taking the vibes away but and i mean just look how bland it looks just just the same stores everywhere and the same people shopping around in the rain they're going to tk max they don't have these in chicago these little high street type situations and to primark they're going to north face depending on what their budget is Miami. all these different places yeah we're going to Greg's. I like Greg's. And eating stale, cold, yeah, they always flavorless cold food. Stuff, and like you know, I, I love this country and I love a lot of its culture, but the direction that the high street has moved in, I find it quite depressing. I'll so tell you what, we'll go get some hipsters and from Dixie's and nothing beats some. Oh, wait, y'all got Zam Zam? Maybe that originated that. This is Middle Eastern, right? Zam Zam. Can't see, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is where I got in my last fight at in America, in Chicago. I ain't fought since Zam Zam. That's tough. That's a good. That's a good thing, though. It's a good tough. 
So we're going to do a bit of a chicken shop review. Yeah, you ever watched the Chicken Connoisseur? Yeah, he's cool like that. He was one of my original YouTube heroes before I knew that ever. YouTube was to me was only the Chicken Connoisseur, and that's this one, mate. I think. Unless it, is it all? Yeah, this is it, mate. You got it. So what are you eating? Uh, I'm just going to get some sizzler wings. I just want wings. I used to watch the Chicken Connoisseur too. I don't know what happened to his channel. I know he has the backup one. Maybe I should watch another video. Just wings. So this is a very nostalgic place for you. Yeah, I always used to get the number three. I don't know. You can eat after a big chicken burger. Jerk chicken I, I burger. I've been here in years, so I just <laughs> want to fancy, fancy it. It's Business good? Yeah, it's alright. Not, yeah. not bad. What are we opening now, say? Uh, we open at half ten in the morning and close next day in the four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock? I bet you see some sights at three, four in the morning, don't you? Yeah. yeah. In the chicken shop, jeez. And we we open on the Friday till five o'clock and we six on Saturday we open till six in the morning. Six? Yeah. Do you have to have a bouncer on the door, do you, at that time of morning? Like security? No, 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 we don't need it. You're yeah, the security. Really good customers, isn't it? Yeah, He's him at the back, he's a big guy, he's the security, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Tell me about the chicken then, mate. Delicious. Sometimes you go to a chicken shop. It's too greasy, too oily, but this yeah. is like... Oh, a chicken crunchy. shop can be anything, mate. can be, uh, yeah, sometimes too dry, sometimes too greasy. Honestly, mate, I'm well, so have, full. Have a bite. I don't, I'll eat the rest of it if you just have a bite, I don't mind. I'll have one. You twisted my arm, mate. I'll have mm. this big, fat, juicy one while I'm at it. It's really good. So this is the best fried chicken in Leeds. Mm -hmm. Dixie chicken. There's Dixie chickens everywhere. Yeah, but this is the best there one There must be Leeds. franchises or something. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, no, I understand what he was about to say. Not all chicken spots are created the same. Like, there's a bunch of Harold's chickens in Chicago, but mm -mm, only a select few are banging. <laughs> Top tier. You can't just walk into any random Harold's and be like, yeah, this going to be the one that they think that they talk about. That ain't how it work. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. Window. Okay. That's good chicken. Mm hmm. Mm. Good. A lot of herbs and spices in that mix. A tiny warmth that comes after. Um, yeah. It's got good flavour. Mm -hmm. Really flavourful. Really crunchy, mm -hmm. but moist in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chicken's soft on the inside, not dry. Mm. Nice kick to it as well, not spicy. That's good. A lot of people might have said something about the chicken being red. It's just from freezing it and then putting it in hot oil. Fried chicken. Mm -hmm. You know what you're talking about, mate. Get I'd say this is better than the jerk chicken place we went to. I disagree. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Just from looks, I don't know about that. Mm. But, sir, you might have like a nostalgic feel for it. Like, a, it's, it holds a certain place to your heart. And that is being calculated into your rating. But off the look test, I don't think so. I ain't gonna lie, my boy, you... You clearing that chicken though. Ain't a piece of nothing on there. No cartilage, no nothing. The jerk chicken will be better for you. Yeah. This is good for you as well because it makes you happy. I'm a bit worried about that thing hanging off. Yeah, just don't throw it in. It's alright, this is just a vein. I don't eat a lot of fried chicken, but as chicken shops go, that was decent. Up to three at 750 to park in Leeds. It's a rip off, mate. Jesus wept. 750 for how many hours? How are Leeds Football Club doing these days? I'm from Australia. So oh, I'm you're from away. Australia? Where in Australia, mate? Melbourne. Melbourne. I spent six months in Melbourne. I lived in St Kilda. Me? Yeah, okay. yeah. So what brings you from Melbourne all the way to Leeds? This place, this team. And how did you end up being a Leeds fan living in Melbourne? Since Nipper. Seven, eight years old. Yeah. First game we ever watched, didn't know nothing about Premier League or football. I was watching this FA Cup game. Yeah. Leeds Sunderland. Yeah. I didn't know Leeds, didn't know Sunderland. But I'm thinking, why is this team losing when they're playing so much better? Yeah, yeah. I always thought they were the underdogs. Yeah. So I've always been an under underdog team. You like supporting the underdogs, Jeez, yeah. Why this team losing? They're playing so much better. I deserve to win. Yeah. So I thought I'm barracking for that team. So you made a pilgrimage all the way from Melbourne yeah. to Leeds to come and visit. You're going to watch a match while you're here. I want it, but I can't. How come? Short time. Short time. I leave tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Back going, to Australia. Going to Manchester. Manchester. Is you're a Man, you're a Man U fan or Man City? Man City. Man City. Yeah. And you're an Aussie too. Yes. You're, you're related. It's unfortunate for you, buddy. Father and son. What's up? Yeah, foot. So I could yeah, tell. I yeah. couldn't convince him. Yeah. No, so it's not I, I probably don't have to ask. But why are you a Man City fan Follow these days? 
because we're not good enough. <laughs> you should follow your dad's team. I did. So I'm a Wolves fan, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Oh yeah. Because my dad was. That's where I'm from. Yep. Oh okay. So you going you you going with it all the way till the till the uh, till the relegation. You with the Wolves till the relegation window. That's fine. Um, I've been here for one or two matches. Um, incredibly hostile, old-fashioned ground. Yes. Noisy, rowdy. Um, yeah, and just just great tradition, you know. So Dan, I said to you. Bring me to a normal place in Leeds where normal people live, outside the town centre. Where are we? Cross Gates. Yeah, and what's significant about Cross Gates? Uh, it's not very good, but ah, it's where all the right. people live. High Street. Yeah. And then there's an old shopping centre here. That's uh, like an old precinct. Old Let's have a wander one. through. Yeah. How long has your butcher's been here? Two years, believe it or not. Two years? Oh, yeah, two years. Yeah, I thought you were going to say like 50 no, years. No. I did 40 years in Leeds Market, yeah, and I decided to put my business up a little bit. The market in the centre of Leeds, yeah, yeah, where I was. Market, Leeds Market, Leeds Market. Is that yeah. where M&S started, obviously? Yeah. We, we started our video there, yeah. Michael, yeah, that's it, yeah. That's Bigger than M&S. Yeah, Forget M&S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to M&M. Yeah. How's business in the shopping very centre here? Very busy. Yeah, you look busy, yeah, you've got no, full no, stock. Really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no measures. Can I, can yeah. I film your meat? Yeah, you would. I'm very brazen. Pause. You gotta pause that. I'm ask a man if I can film his meat. No, he's he'll, he'll do me to shame, he will. We are renowned for being the Yorkshire's number one butcher. Really? Yeah. What an amazing, famous, amazing oh, accolade, Michael. yeah. So you, we, we used to work for us. We set off Danny Mallon. No. Danny Mallon, great my takeaway. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. He worked for me and we started the videos in the market and then we pushed on and did that. I wondered why you were so warm to the camera when yeah, I walked in with yeah, a little yeah, vlogging yeah, camera. So where are we now, mate? You've put yeah, damn. <laughs> put me to a right. Yeah, this is Hare Hill, sketchy <coughs> area. What's what's Hare Hills like? Uh, it's just um, it makes uh, a diverse environment. Very diverse, yeah, multicultural. That's where you've got different cultures, different people. Like, yeah, everybody's just so up and about, busy with their you know, schedules, busy doing what they got to do. How is it for? To live generally a safe place, people uh, look yeah, after yeah. each other. I think it's um, except for when something goes wrong, it's just safe for people. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's safe. You bought this mobility scooter in 100%, that design. Yeah. Re nice. Now nah, that's heat. Really? I had to pay. Even though I'm on disability, you can't have a disability car and this. Unfortunately, you know, you they pay one or the other kind of thing yeah. for you. Yeah. So I wanted a car for my carer, so I can go on weekends out and stuff like because obviously I can't chuck a kid on here and you know yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. I paid for this myself I'm like I didn't want to look like a, a granny mobile just sat there like yeah that, and then fall off you don't yeah, mate you look you're a, a big lad, you're, it's so. the coolest mobility scooter I've ever seen yeah, yeah, yeah. did a bit of work because I crashed as you can see you yeah. crashed it oh but Jesus people mate walk in front of me yeah. and then I've got two options I go in the road yeah or I go into the wall and or hit them basically. yeah so. you did the right thing you live in the Hare Hills area do you All my what's life? it like Nice. Yeah. It's really people are nice, but like anyway, you just get jobs. Yeah. Let's just be real. Pretty working class area, is it? And yeah. Yeah. The lads were saying it's pretty multicultural, but everyone gets along. Hundred percent. Like I said, people will blame one person, you know, for the troubles and everything, and then it's a trouble thing. But end of the day, it's just people getting arguing. Yeah. Life's complicated. You know. Pe you'll people never get along people with People have everyone. issues. You're, you're right. Yeah. Saying, so. Especially like a lot of people come from different backgrounds, and I think the main thing is. People have just got to learn to respect each other's cultures. Because at the end of the day, most of us, or nearly all of us, we just want to earn some money and look after our families and 100%. pay our rent and eat our food, yeah. 100%. And ride around in our Gatsby. pimping Gatsby Pimp 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 Mobo, Mobo scooter. Two grand. Five grand. Five grand. Five grand. Five grand. Gee. Keep the that quiet. One. Jeez. Un newest one on the market. It does 31 miles without a charge. Yeah. It goes nine kilometers. What's the top speed? Nine kilometers. Nine, nine kilometers. I think yeah. it's nine kilometers. When when you nine. said thirty one, I thought he's going to say just thirty one miles an hour. Yeah. I'm like, no wonder it's uh, had a, I had a ding. to get it modified, but I'm then sure it's you not, can. Then it's not disabled friendly. Then yeah, you know, that'll yeah. get it took off me. And what good yeah. is that then? Did you get a muffler on the back? I want to do so much. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I want to please put, like, get some. Pimp please there. get a muffler. I want some pimp there for like my brolly and stuff, like my cane and stuff. Go on, give me, give me a spin off for the for the bitch. Oh, I'm I'm too late. See you, mate. That mug moving kind of fast, ain't it? <laughs> he got where he needed to go. Zero to nine in in one second. Good life. <laughs> what a legend. 
the Gatsby Mobility Scooter. Just, but I like this area, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. To start with, I said it looks a bit run down, looks a bit sketchy. Um, Still I know it's the middle of the day. It's rainy, there's not many people out, but, yeah, but um, if we went to like the posh part of these, no one there's going to speak to you, they'll just turn your nose up at you. Think, ah, this is what I say to people that comment on my videos, they go, oh, why do you talk to this particular type of people? Why do you talk to that particular type of people? I just talk to people that are interesting characters. Yeah, yeah. I don't care how much or how little money they've got or whether they've had a beer or they haven't had a beer or whatever their nefarious habits may be. The more beers the better though. Yeah, well yeah, and hopefully I can have one with them. Yeah. But I just I just like talking to interesting people and in general, the more work- Yeah, it don't matter who. It just matters. Are you gonna talk? Are you gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he's a content creator. He has to get the interesting people. Working class areas you go to and uh, people with interesting and more diverse lives then the more stories and characters you get. Yeah. It is quite a scruffy area, mate. Renovate like no, that really. cannot be avoided, you know, like you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to live next to a tip like that, would you? So we're now gonna go to the Carpati Patisserie Bakery because Dan never stops eating, dear. Do don't stop eating. I want it to bake good. I want to I I don't know if they're gonna have flapjacks, but let's see. I think what? you've got a worm. Flapjack? Hello. 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 What nationality bakery is this? Is this Romanian? Polish. Polish, okay. Polish. What do you recommend? I've been to Poland recently. What, what do you oh. recommend? I was... <laughs> All, All of it. Good. Everything. Alright, we're going to try one of these. Do you do um, pierogies? Pierogi? Yeah. You do? No, yeah. <laughs> you have them now? Or? No. No, oh, okay. That is oh, it's bakery. a little dumpling, yeah. A bakery and pierogi yeah. wouldn't be in a bakery, I get you. Yeah. yeah. Is there a big Polish community in this area? Sorry? A lot of Polish people living in Herhals? Yeah. Yeah. Polish, Romania. Nice. When I live, I used to live in Humble Park in Chicago. It was right next to... Uh, home, I mean, not homeless. Uh, Humble Park is a... Uh, Puerto Rican dominated neighborhood. Like, Chicago is very broken up into... It's very segregated. You might think or have some type of other thing in your head where it's this mixed it is diverse there's a lot of different people but they're all like they all live in their own little neighborhoods you know what i'm saying uh yeah i used to live in humble park on the west side or northwest side i guess um and i was on the border of a poland a polish town i forgot what it was called dang I, i've been gone too long Ro royal cheesecake what's this what, what? That one is sweet cheese. Sweet cheese. Yeah. Like um, like a New York cheesecake. Right. That's a big piece. How yeah. much? How much is that? One second for you. Two. It's gonna break the budget. This is. <laughs> do you do a smaller piece? No. No. Four pounds okay. Sixty-one pence. How much? Sorry. Four pounds sixty-one. I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna treat the miss. That's not that bad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Carpato baker. Do you have like um? So can you do a smaller piece? No, man. No, sir. <laughs> Take it or not. A fork or a knife? No. Just fingers. <laughs> the old-fashioned fork, yeah. That's a big piece of cheesecake. That's a massive yeah. piece. <laughs> I'm going to break a piece off. It look good. Yeah, it's like um, New York cheesecake, so. Mm. Trying food in front of them is diabolical. Because what if you really don't like it? I'd say it. It's good. It's really good. I've never known someone eat so much. <laughs> it's like, like thinking back to when I was in Poland. Mm -hmm. It's got that real sourness. Mm -hmm. Like a really nice sourness to a cheesecake. Sometimes cheesecake's too sweet. Mm. Tastes like vanilla. That's very good. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I like the sourness. So as the day draws to a close, and almost as if it was planned, we've ended up back at the Leeds City Market to close the video. Thanks for showing me around, mate. I'm glad you came, mate. It's been a good day. I've enjoyed my time in Leeds. It's a city that's got two faces, really. It's got this like kind of like cool. former industrial past that's a yeah. bit in decay. And then it's got a lot of all these swanky new buildings as well. So there clearly is growth in the city. When welcoming, wonderful people for the most part, apart from a couple of young... Cheesecake did look very good. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It was nice, thick, had a crust on it. 
I don't like my sweet cake. I mean, sweet cake. Wow, pause. I don't like my cheesecake too sweet either, and it looked decent. Yeah, do wells, but you get that everywhere, I guess. What do you want to say to people about Leeds in 2024? Give it a chance. Come and explore the city. And if you want to do more things in the countryside, it's very easy. You can take the bus from the bus station here, take number 36, and head towards Harrogate to the countryside if you want to escape the hustle and the bustle. But if you want a night out, go to Call Lane or to Merrion Street. Leeds is one of my number, like, it's top priority when I get to the UK. So hopefully I meet some feral, feral, what is it called? Feral youths. <clears throat> I think my reception would be a little different, though. I ain't, um, don't do that. Windows still on business, though. I like it. <laughs> I used to want some good food, get some fish and chips. Yeah, there's been a lot of good food. Yeah. A lot of good food, especially here in the market. And yeah, the people for sure. are so friendly. They are, yeah, yeah. how friendly the people are. Yeah, people are friendly up north. Ooh, excuse me. And folks as well, please check out Dan's channel. It's called Where Is Dan? His videos are normally from far more exotic places than Leeds, but I started watching him when he was in India, maybe a year or so ago. He's done some great videos in Korea, lots of Asia. So, yeah, if you like interactions and really organic sort of like boots on the ground w promo and vlogs then dan's the man to check out Appreciate it. mate Thank you. you're a legend yeah, he's a good guy as well, well thanks up. for watching folks until next time w vid man very 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 cultured very great look around leeds man because all i honestly knew was the nightlife and the like the um living like situation i like how they the apartments and stuff flats my bad but yeah they got good food, too. TLO, leave a like, comment. Lock in with Wendell if you have it.